Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Alex. And I have a thrift haul for you today. And coffee. I've been hunting down some thrift stores in my area looking for um, some items that I can use in my cross stitching to display like picture frames, mostly old frames and some glasswares. And I came across a few treasures that I thought I would share with you because I'm all about saving the old right now. That can always change. I don't have a lot to show, but I do have some things. The first thing I have is not from a thrift store per se, but I went to a store in my area called Clothes Mentor, um, like clothing mentor. And it's, I think it's part of Play-Doh's closet, but it's for adult women and all different sizes. And so I was selling some clothes there because I had a bunch of work clothes I don't need anymore. And I saw this purse and I was like, um, but I do need that. So it does have the little strap, but it also has a crossbody. I don't know if this has ever been used, but can you look at the bottom? Look at the fabric down there. I love it. It's not real leather, but it's almost like suede on the inside and there's a magnetic snap here. I love purses like this that I can just drop my phone and my wallet in and carry. Um, it did come with its own little bow, but I may take that off. Who knows? Um, and the strap, I think there's something missing because there's some snaps on the outside and this definitely snaps. So I'm not really sure to be honest, but I'm okay with it. And it was $16. Um, I'm, I don't know why we're calling it a red backpack because this is clearly not a red backpack and it might have been a backpack, you know, there may have been like straps or something, but I don't, or maybe this does something. I have no idea. Here's what I do know. I love this color, like this mustardy yellow. I even love it for summer, but for fall too. And it's a nice big bucket purse that will hold all the things. And that's what I needed. And for $16, thank you very much. Okay, Ugh, I'm, I'm dropping stuff on my floor. Sorry about that. Okay, then I went to Goodwill. This is like Goodwill, the actual Goodwill. And they had this, and it is called My Lovely Feline, the Magic Feline Fountain. Now, it had this, and then it had two brand new filters taped to the box. So I had no idea what was in here and if it was any good, meaning does it work or whatever. So I brought it home. I have opened it. It was used. Um, so I scrubbed it up and it works perfectly fine. And these, these run new on Chewy for $35 and on this website for $59. And these filters go anywhere from eight to ten dollars. So for six dollars, I got the water fountain and two filters. So I think that I wonder if that filter feels broken. Maybe not. Um, so I thought that was a good deal for six dollars. I mean, had it not have worked, I might have been a little frustrated, but it did work. I'm questioning because I feel some grit in here. I don't know, but I can always order a new one. I, I put the brand new one in already and it's running and Wellington seems to like it. And he's my fussy cat that wants fresh water out of the sink. He did drink out of it when I put it up for him. Now at a different Goodwill, I found these, okay. These are plate frames and the company is Van, Van Hygen and Smith. And they put, these came with plates, Norman Rockwell plates. And I didn't want the plates. I wanted these frames to frame cross stitch patterns that are in the round. Um, on the back, you can see these little arms that pop out and they would hold your plate in place and they are screwed in. And I'll see if I need these arms or not. If I don't, I can take them off because they're kind of gross. Um, and just like 
put some staples or like little brad nails to hold the cross stitch in place. And I love how banged up this is. I may distress it a little more. And it does, it is designed to hang on the wall. And I love the idea of round frames. So they were with the plate a dollar ninety nine. I redonated the plate back and just took three of these frames. I don't know how many I'll use. I do have a project coming up that should fit in here perfectly, and I will show you when I get all the um, accoutrement for that. I did print the pattern, but I'm waiting on the fabric and the floss, and it's coming from Canada, so it'll be here shortly. Um, so yes, I grabbed three of these, and they're all the same. One is down over there. They're all the same, but you can easily paint these or do whatever you want. And funny is, I'd never seen these before, or I guess I never noticed them before, and then I was at another, um, so I think this is like your salad plate. It's about eight inches, a little bigger than eight inches. So maybe like eight and a quarter to eight and a half inches round. Um, because this opening right here holds an eight inch hoop perfectly. So I was at a different dollar or different Goodwill and I saw another one, but it was like a dinner size plate. And I said, girl, you don't need it. You don't need it. So I, I didn't get it. I know. Then I just have a couple of little other things. I found this little glass candy dish. I don't know what it is. I don't know who it is, where it is from. It doesn't have any markings. I don't care about all that. It's so pretty. And I'm going to put for an exchange when I go to my next retreat, we do little small gift exchanges and I'm gonna make a pin cushion that fits right down in here. And then that would just sit and you would put your pins in it. I thought that would be so pretty to cross stitch a pin cushion. And this was $2.99. Um, like I said, there's no markings on it. There's glue, I need to run it it wash it up so yes I found this I've been looking for the ones I showed you before that have the lace that you can put like scissors in but I think this will be equally as cute and do just a small little cross stitch that they could take out and put their own cross stitch in if they wanted to um so I grabbed that for $2.99 and then I found this and this is handmade pottery I don't know who made it there is a signature on it but I don't, I don't really know what that signature says. It, I can't read it. I know it's L-A-U and that might be a B-U, I, I don't know. And then there's like probably a date. It's not, it's irrelevant to me who made it. I really enjoy the coloring on it and that it was handmade and we're saving the handicrafts, right? We're saving the stitches. So I got this, I think it's just going to become a display piece, like set it somewhere and maybe put some needles or something in it. I don't know, pens even. It was 99 cents. And I just wanted just to rescue it, to be honest with you. Whoever made it did a very good job. I mean, it's nice and even and the, the painting is good. So I don't know who did it, but and then the last thing I found, we're going to need some room, and then we'll talk about this. I found this frame. Here's a painting. The painting, well, it's an oil painting. I think it's like I can feel it. This paint, this frame was made. Somebody created this frame, and I absolutely am obsessed with it. I don't know if they had it done at a framer. I have no idea. But it's this will be coming out, this painting will be coming out, and I will be framing a cross stitch to go in here because I think this is just fantastic. Do you see the hand? I mean, somebody chipped away and carved this and painted it, and I love it. And it's big, and I think, if I had to guess, this is like a 14 by 16 size canvas, so it'll be a pretty good size cross stitch that will fit. My other idea is to put a blank background, like just a black or something, and then put my cross stitches on canvas and magnet, and then I can change out the cross stitch by the season and leave this hanging on the wall. It's pretty heavy, so. I mean, it definitely needs some work. This saw, There's a sawtooth hanger back here that's 
coming off um, this paper backing. So somebody, this was a frame and then somebody took it home and did what I'm gonna do and they reframed it because the cardboard from the back has been taken off. But that's what you do, you save the paintings. So I'm gonna pull this apart, see what's back here. Maybe it's a Monet. I doubt it. But this was um, $6.99. And to be fair, you can't buy, you can't buy frames for that amount of money. Brand new, let alone a nice old looking one that'll be fantastic. So I'm excited for that. I love, hi Alex. Hi, come here. Do you want to say hi? Yeah. Wellington's napping in my bedroom and Alex is up here with me and he wants me to pet him. <gasps> oh my gosh. Side note. So Alex doesn't go outside. Wellington does go out in my front. He lays on my front porch or my back porch or he'll lay in the mulch in front of my house. That's pretty much as far as he goes. And he loves to lay out there and sun himself. So, I, you know, live your best life, buddy. He had a tick the other day and I thought I was going to have a stroke getting it off of his ear and it was deep but he's okay I've been watching it no infection I cleaned it up with alcohol and a little soap and water and he seems to be fine so <laughs> this one would like me to pet him so he's just headbutting me it's okay honey here come here come here yeah you come over here and see the oh oh he said no don't get handsy lady don't get handsy he doesn't like when I grab him uh, Wellington would let me hold him all day. Alex, he'll lay on me, but he doesn't want me holding him. All right, guys, that is everything I found so far at the thrift store. I'm kind of having fun. It's like a, a different treasure hunt. You know, the Dollar Trees are kind of dry right now, and I know it's a seasonal thing, and they'll perk, perk back up here shortly. But for now, I've been having kind of fun exploring some thrift stores and some antique stores, looking for some items to hang my cross stitch on. All right, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I will talk with you later. Bye.